Quick interruption, this video was going to be about me camping out in the snow with no tent. I tried to build a shelter by cutting down a tree by hand and it turned into a huge failure. And this video is more about that horrible failure, which I caught on camera in the video. Karen here from Homestead How. Welcome to our homestead in today's video. You ever get sick of just sitting in the house all the time? You want to get out and have a little adventure? That's what I'm doing. I've got 20 acres here. It's all wooded and I'm going to head out there with my cold weather sleeping bag. I'm going to see if I could survive all night with no tent. <laughs> I've never done this before. My goal is to stay out for 24 hours all night with no tent. Let's head out into the woods and see if we could survive the night. So come with me on a little journey through my property as we head over to the spot I intend to camp. And it's quite obvious I do need a proper camping bag. I did purchase a cold weather sleeping bag and pad but I do need to upgrade my camping bag for sure. So I haven't seen hardly any animal tracks, although I see a bunch of deer tracks over here. But it looks like there's a bunny track here. I was like, what is this? Looks like the bunny came here, sat there overnight, and then headed off that way. Hop, hop, hop into the woods over there. That's kind of cool. I'm going to keep heading out deeper into the woods, um, about halfway down our property. And we've got a fortunate to have a lot of land here, but there's an area down there where the trees open up a little bit. I'm going to see if I can set up camp over there. I really need to get a proper camping backpack. This isn't too bad, but it's pretty bad. I wouldn't want to go very far. It's so nice and quiet out here. So I'm getting close to the area I have in mind in the back of my head to set up this camp. So almost there now. This is the spot I think I'm going to camp for the night. I got a clear open area up here, which sounds stupid, but I want to take some night photography tonight. And my plan, I don't know if it's going to work, I have my handsaw, I want to cut this tree with my handsaw and then do a back cut here. I've never done this with a handsaw, I've only done it with a chainsaw. And have this tree this way and hopefully land on this. Which probably won't happen, but even if it doesn't land on that, I'm going to do it high enough that it'll have a nice angle here. And this will be like the baseline of my shelter and I'll camp under here. I'll create cover going this way, like a little roof going down this way. And I could maybe use part of that. And then my sleeping bag will be right here. And then I'll do a little fire over here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I don't have a shovel. And I, and I know there's two school of thoughts on this. Some people like to shovel it out, it's not that deep. I'm gonna stomp it down with my feet and get a nice flat area around here. I'm gonna have to get my saw out and uh, start cutting this, but also start to cut up some firewood. So the other reason I chose this spot was uh, last summer we cut this tree down. We got a bunch of brush left and it's off the ground. So I should be able to use my saw and cut a bunch of that up and use it for my campfire. Keep me warm tonight. Oh yeah, I brought a chair. This is on my property, so all of this tree that's left over is going to get used for firewood to heat my house. I'm not just wasting it. I get a lot of comments about that. Do you replant the trees you cut down? If you look over here, I have a tree here and about eight more trees there and about a million more baby trees growing up here. So we don't even have to replant them. They grow like weeds here. 
And if I don't start clearing some of these out, these little guys all around it aren't gonna have any room to grow. Oh, I just cut my finger. Man. I should have my glove on. Come on. Yay! Oh, thank goodness. Now how am I? Man, I'm pretty darn close. I'm pretty darn close to landing it. If my calculations are correct, then they never are. It's gonna land right on that sucker. I'm gonna try to fell it right on that thing. It looks like it's lining up pretty closely. I cut my finger pretty bad. I don't know, I'm a big baby, but it's bleeding really bad and getting blood all over everything. I spilled a little bit of my chili, but there's enough left there still. I put a little bit of more snow and it's simmering. So I'm gonna fell this thing. It's gonna land right on this over here. I don't know if that's in camera. And it's gonna look amazing. And then I'm gonna eat some chili and then I'm gonna set up my sleeping bag and my mat and get a fire going. And hopefully this will stop bleeding by then. I'm gonna cut this right here. This is gonna be my back cut. And I wanna leave a, I wanna leave a lot of hinge wood as much as possible so this doesn't break off. I want this to stay attached to the tree and this to fold down on here, be at a perfectly 90 degree angle that way. I just have a feeling it's gonna land on there perfectly, but probably not. It'll probably fall backwards and crush my legs and kill me and I'll be paralyzed for the rest of my life. Also, there's a little piece of corn right here. What the heck? Somebody leave a comment down below and explain to me how this piece of corn is embedded within the bark of that tree. It was in the bark of the tree. A bird maybe? That's weird. All right, let's cut this thing down. So here's the thing, at this point I would normally have a deeper back cut allowing the tree to fall. I don't want to cut that much more, I want to have a lot of hinge wood so the tree doesn't fall off and just hinges. So I'm hooking a rope up and I'm giving it a little tug and amazingly enough it's working just as I planned. Well at least it started to. Go! Oh it's going to land right on my thing too. Oh, it was perfect. I thought I'd go right between those two. Always get stuck. Always, always, always get stuck. Almost. I wanted to have that much hinge wood. There's my back cut. If this gap closes, we'll have a perfect 90 degree, but I got caught up in the trees up there. I tried to calculate that in. You see those trees? There's one there and one there. It looked like it was right in between, and it is in between. But it, the branches still got caught. Now I'm not sure what the heck to do. It was at about this point I started asking myself, what the heck am I doing? I should have just grabbed a rope, and a tarp and made a little lean-to cover. I don't have a tent anyways. I just kind of got obsessed with this idea of cutting this tree down and had it not gotten caught up, we would have been done with this a long time ago, but now I'm wasting a ton of time on this. And the other problem I have besides cutting my finger is my feet are soaking wet. Seriously. I bought new boots this year. They've been great all winter, but I haven't spent hours and hours outside like I am today and my feet are soaked. Plus, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get this tree down with this little rope. Go, go, go! Quick side note, I'm editing this now and Jen is cracking up at me tossing this rope over and completely missing like 100 yards to the left. Most YouTubers would probably edit that out, but not us. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoy watching me be a complete inept moron.
There it is. See if this does anything. Probably not. Yeah, so this thing's clearly stuck. It's dangerous. It needs to come down. My feet are soaking wet and it's getting late. So I'm calling Jen. Can you tell mom? Could I talk to mom? My big chainsaw, the wedge, and a sledgehammer. That wasn't good. The whole thing moved. It's going to come back this way. It's going to come back this way. All right, at this point, my feet are completely soaking wet. The second tree is now hung up. I'm a complete moron. I should have just went camping and not messed with any of these trees, wasting all that time. Jen and I are going to head in the car so I can warm my feet up. I was watching you. I'm so stupid. I was watching this. I was watching it you. Hit it. And then this tree comes down and he's standing there like a moron. It's just going to smush him. All right, guys, I'm in the car now. Jen picked me up. I'm letting my feet warm up. That turned into a big fail, but I'm not giving up. I'm going to try winter camping again with no tent. Quick interruption. Before you guys think I'm a huge failure, less than 24 hours later, I purchased some boots and I proceeded with a full night of winter camping with no tent and just a sleeping bag in the snow, as you can see on the screen here. It was amazing. That video is currently live on our channel, so go back and check it out. Link in the description below. And it's a really fun video. I made it all night. It just took me for a little ride to warm up my feet. We saw a bald eagle. I'll show you a picture of that real quick. And I'm gonna get some new boots and do this again. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day. At the end of every episode of Homestead How, we post some of our favorite pictures. Here are the most recent ones from my camping trip that took place a day after the video you just watched. Be sure to check out that video, link in the description below.